blah, blah. What is up guys, Oz TV here, coming at you with a brand new video today. Today I'm gonna talk to you guys about my middle school experiences and pretty much just how savage I was back then. Cause honestly, I was I was probably the most the most savage person that was even in my school. Like, okay, so middle school, right? Seventh grade year is whenever I went into middle school. Uh, I started at Barron County. I mean, if you're a creep, you can look that up. But I mean, I'm I'm almost you know I'm almost an adult, an adult so there's there's not really any use. But anyway, um, I started at seventh grade at Barron County Middle School, and honestly, I was a weird kid. Like fresh out of sixth grade, like. I didn't know how to talk to girls. I had one girlfriend in sixth grade, bro. And like, I never talked to her. <laughs> like, I never, ever, I, I sat with her like twice at lunch, but I never, I would never talk to her because I was such like, I was, I was so scared for some reason. I just thought, I don't know. I, I was just very, I was really shy and nervous. And uh, so I was a really weird kid. I was that one kid that, you know, that uh, drew pictures for the teacher and like gave her the, gave the teacher pictures and stuff. You know, the, the teachers that put the pictures up on their clipboards and stuff like that. Not clipboards, but anyway, um, I was a weird kid. So I went into seventh grade and um, I had these friends, right? And like, I really didn't start, I really didn't start being a savage until uh, towards the middle. And then like all heck broke, broke loose for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I just something just changed, like chemical change. Something, something just changed real quick. And I had these friends, right? And uh, they would, they would tell me to do stuff. And every time, everything they told me to do, I would just do it. Like I like one time, just as a joke, I, I took, uh, I took some beef jerky, like the, you know, the beef jerky in the can. I took that and I put it in my mouth and acted like it was dip. And I got in trouble for it uh, because I told the teacher it was dip, and he really believed me. He really did believe me. And then um, towards the end of seventh grade year, you know, I was I was being a rebel, rebellious, and all that. You know, I was in a gang and everything. You know, I was rebellious, and uh, I told the teacher to shut up one time uh, with with like like a, a choice a choice word that I probably shouldn't have used in there. You know, in the in the middle of the phrase, and uh, she said, "Who is that?" and and I and I stood over I, I sat over. Um, I sat over on the far end and the teacher was all the way over here and she was like, who was that? So I was like, ah. and my voice cracked so bad. Like it was getting deep, but it wasn't deep yet. But my voice cracked so bad. It was like, ah. and it was, it was so bad. Turns out I ended up getting like two or three days of ALC, which is ISS in school suspension. And uh, I think that was like, my fifth write up that year, I had, okay, so I just kind of wanted to, uh, like I said, I did not talk to, I did not, I was not good at talking to girls, so I had this crush, like, I had this crush for like, seventh grade and the, through half of eighth grade because I moved schools and then I completely changed, but uh, I had this crush, right, and you know, she was, she was pretty, she was pretty awesome, you know, she had the biggest butt in the, in the class that I, that I, uh, She's pretty great, but I never talked to her because I was I was like I was so weird, dude. Like I would never I I knew I would never get a girlfriend like because I was so weird, you know. Uh, I had one girlfriend that entire year, and we were weird together. So it was like we kind of like we kind of matched, but uh, yeah. Um, anyway, I went into eighth grade with something to prove, guys. I had something to prove. I had to, I had to show these people. I had to show them Austin Steen is not playing around you know i had to be a thug on everybody you know i had to go in there you know uh pinky fingers up you know forget everybody and uh so i, I go into the i go into the school year thinking oh i'm gonna be good at first and then i'm gonna like i'm gonna be trashy the whole year i'm just gonna i'm gonna whew. and like back whenever i was in my school it was cool to get bad grades like and then i changed schools and it's not cool it's like if you get a's and b's you're you're cool but like if you get c's and d's and stuff you're not cool like it's not cool in in bowling green but anyway i went in i went into eighth grade year you know pinky fingers up i did a bunch of bad stuff but i did like terrible stuff but the the thing that got me into alternative school or 11th street or wherever you call it wherever you're at you know the the school that people go to whenever they're too bad and they they always get alc 
Because I had I had 32 write-ups. 32. That's a lot. And that's just for 8th grade. I had 32. Or 20. Something like that. I'm pretty sure it was 32, though. Anyway, um... So I went there, like, I went there because I stole a piece of chicken. I stole a piece of chicken. I stole a piece of chicken. Which means I picked it up with my hands. And, th th like, I had done such bad things before that. And th that they, because I was on pro probation for alternative school. And I had done such bad things before that that they were just like, alternative school, right there. Nope, nope, no questions asked. You're going all turn school. You stole a piece of chicken. Get out of here. I'm tired of you. You stole a piece of chicken. Just, just leave. So I went to alternative school. Came back. Moved to my dad's. Got, got in the bowling green. And I was still like, I still had that like, I still had about 50% of my savage mentality, you know, like. And then I grew up, guys. I changed. I, um, I went through a lot of changes. And, uh, I mean, middle school was kind of a horror story, like, <laughs> American Horror Story. It's time to stop. <laughs> it's time to stop. It anyway, but, uh, yeah, it's like, middle school was a horror story for me at first. But I ended up, uh, freshman year, I got new friends, you know, new group of people, new, uh, new place, new environment. And honestly, like, I'm Gucci now. I still did get write-ups, but not a lot. I didn't get 32. I did not get 32. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I just wanted to share it with you guys kind of a middle school horror story and talk to you guys a little about my crush that I had for two years. You know, if you're watching this video, we talk, we talk, we talk now. It's cool. It's all Gucci. I'm kind of, I'm glad where I ended up. I'm glad where I ended up. Uh, middle school sucked, but you know, there was a couple highlights in there and she was one of them. Oh, son, where'd you find this? Why?